Hello, everyone, and welcome to Abu Dhabi Grand Slam Jiu-Jitsu here on Fightbox HD. Hi. My name is Daniel Austin, and we are already underway here in this contest. This is our final round of 16 matchup in the men's 77 kilogram weight division in black belt. Interesting that there's only four. Oh, oh my, look at this. He's going right after it. Looking for the ankle. Oh my. He's working for it. He is coming very close. Take another look at how it went down here. Both men in a seated position. Tried to slide in there. And you can see on the right of your screen, the other judges having a look here. And the action continues above that in the Falcon Eye. Scott. Referee calling for a halt to the action here. And I think he's just going to reposition them. Both men now with one advantage point. So it is still completely even as far as the score is concerned. But I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, those advantage points are so, so important. You cannot imagine how many bouts have been decided simply by advantage points. Forget about the main scoring points. A lot of bouts, even if there's not any points scored or even if there is, sometimes come down or very often come down to the advantage points. He's got the left hand on the right side. Oh, excuse me, got a left hand on the left side of the collar. Dionatan Santos and Jan Silveira, two very talented athletes here, trying to advance to the round of eight. Silvieria with the black belt trying to, well, he's riding really high. He's on his back now, 25 years old, a protege of Rulion Gracie here in his sixth tournament for Abu Dhabi Grand Slam, where he has five gold medals and a silver medal to his name. Santos represents the Alliance Mario Rice Club. Trying to get past the legs here. And gets caught in the guard once again though. He's got the left leg however. Up around the back of the neck. Now lowers it. Still keeping it inside. Half the time expired. This is the last of our round of 16 matchups. And coming up next, we will see the round of eight as the men's 77 kilogram tournament continues. And I think we're gonna, uh, once the round of eight is over, then we'll have a pretty good idea of uh, who is going to be con a contender for the gold medal because uh, most of the competitors in the round of 16 have a bye because of their previous achievements, because of their previous uh, medals and, and victories coming into this tournament and uh, do not have to compete in the, here in the opening round. And that's when things are really gonna start to heat up. Tries to get past the legs once again, trying to pass. That'll pick up three points if he can do that. Looking for a leg. I thought I heard the referee say stop. That could, that could have been a referee on, in a, on a different mat though. Not sure if it was actually this referee. Oh, look.
Look at the ankle contorting and twisting here. He's trying to push it away with his other leg. Silveira looking for the submission here. That's the second or third time in this contest that he's gone to work on the ankle, but he still can't quite get it. Still no points scored. However, Silveira, with that attack, gained himself another advantage point. And that may be enough to win the contest unless something changes here in the last 30 seconds or so. Stop. And a referee calling for a stoppage here. Something, it's the uniforms, I believe. The belts have come loose and the geese have come undone. And both guys just gonna have to reassemble themselves. You can see on the clock, 30 seconds remaining. The referee will reposition them where they left off. And you can see even though he made them put their geese back on properly, they must go back into the same position where they were before, and that involves Silvieria having a hold of the geese. So it may seem counterproductive to actually have them uh, <laughs> have their, put their geese in the same place, but those are the rules. Stepping around now. Got a hold of the back of the pants. He may, he may pull those things clean off if he's not careful. It's almost exposing the behind. There's a full moon over Rio de Janeiro right now. And that is the end of the contest. So again, it came down just like I suspected it would if no points were scored, down to the advantage points. And your winner, and now advancing to the round of eight, Jan Silveria. As for Santos, that's it for him in this tournament. Let's go back and take a look at some highlights from this contest. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Abu Dhabi Grand Slam Jiu-Jitsu here on Fightbox HD. My name is Daniel Austin, and until next time, so long, everybody.